once again, this is our final home game of the year. So it is our senior night. And like I said, it is a tradition that we are at the high school team club also would like to recognize the seniors from the grade old buffs. Those seniors are number four, Tyler Dixon, number 17, Dawson Forcella, number 42, Dawson McEwen, number 50, Jose Carmona, number 64, Elias Ewan, number 71, Gabe Kiesel, number 75, Lauren Tameda, and number 82, Kate Newell. Congratulations on your four years of high school football. to the front of the stands where the Indian High School senior football players and our one cheerleader will be recognized for their contributions and their years of service. Our first senior this afternoon is Annabelle Kinnear. Okay, my parents are Karula Kinnear and Hubert Kinnear and I stay with the host parents, Lisa Brotherson and Michael Brotherson. My favorite cheer memory is all the fun we have while practice. Um, we're a group of really nice girls and I love the feeling when we're out on the track and spirit to the crowd. In addition, I love the stunting and tumbling we are doing while practice. My future plan... A.J. Sambrano, son of Gina Sambrano. My favorite football memory would be going into overtime with Lovell. Even though we lost, we played our hardest. After graduating from high school, I plan to go to college, have fun in college, do college things, but also become a decent mechanic. I want to thank my mom for being here and helping me with everything, and my aunts and uncles and my family. Vinyl. In very bad. I'm the son of Vanilin de Ribev and Sylvia de Ribeva, and my host parents are Steve and Carol Losik. My favorite thing about football is the, friend, the friendships that I have made and the fun I have had with the team. My future plans are to finish high school in Bulgaria and attend a university after that. Uh, I want to thank my family back at home for supporting me and my host parents for making my year in the U.S. the best. Bo Hansen, son of Brandon and Holly Hansen. My favorite football memory is winning the trophy against Pinedale at home my junior year. My future plans are still undecided. I just know I want to stay in state for college. I want to thank all my teammates I've had through all the years of playing. I'd also like to thank all the fans that come to support me and the team, especially my parents and grandparents who never miss a game. Thanks. Tommy Pitlock, son of Shelly Terrian and Charlie Kersey. My favorite football memories are from seventh grade year and learning my fundamentals of the game. My future plans are go to LCCC and study fire science. I want to thank my family, Coach Stevenson and Miss Greenwood for helping me get through my high school years. Adam Raza, son of Wayne and Pam Raza. My favorite football memory is when we beat the Level Bulldogs 14-12 when I was a sophomore on the new field in 2014. After high school, I will serve an LDS mission. When I return, I will attend Utah State University and major in physical therapy. I would first like to thank all of my family who have supported me and have come to watch my games. Secondly, I want to thank my coaches and teammates for pushing me to be a better football player and a better person. Finally, I want to thank all of the community members and the Big Funny Pooster Club for supporting the Puncher Football Program. Luke Hatcher, son of Lauren and Laura Hatcher. My favorite football memory was my last week of two days because me and my boys just got to grind all day long and it was pretty fun. My future plans are to go to school to study mechanical engineering or move into the high country and becoming a mountain man. I want to thank all of my many coaches I've gotten support from in these last four years, as well as my family's support for me and everything I've wanted to do. Thanks, guys.
Donovan Tatum, son of Corey Tatum and Jennifer Keener. My favorite football memory is scoring my first touchdown last year in Pine Hill. Also this season when he played against Lyman at home, I tackled the quarterback for a five-yard loss. And everyone on the team and in the stands went crazy. My future plans are to join the Marines or go to college at the University of Wyoming and major in emergency medical technology or mechanics. I want to thank Coach McElkey for continuing to make me a better football player over the past four years. I want to thank my parents for enduring all the hardships we have went through, for supporting all my decisions I've made and making me a smart, respectful, and strong young man. Congratulations to this year's senior class football players. At this time, we'd like to ask everyone to please rise and remove your headgear for the playing of our national anthem by the Big Piney High School Pep Band.
receiver, a junior, number two, Zane Meisner. Now the starters for your big tiny punchers. And a wide receiver, a junior, number two, Zane Meisner. And a wide receiver, a junior, number three, Noah Lewis. At quarterback, a junior, number four, Tristan Barney. At wide receiver, a junior, number 20, Adam Willoughby. At wide receiver, a senior, number 21, Donovan Tatum. At running back, a junior, number 22, Tyler Long. At the offensive line, a senior, number 50, Adam Raza. Offensive line, a sophomore, number 57, Justin Seaman. The offensive line of junior number 66, T.J. Frazier. On the offensive line of senior number 68, Bo Hansen. And on the offensive line of senior number 71, Luke Hatcher. Punchers are coached by Aaron McKelkey, assisted by Dusty Donnell, Zach Stevenson, and Nate Barry. We'd also like to welcome today's officials. They are Michael Lamp, Will Smith, Sean Rogers, Brad Meyer, and Rusty McGee. Craig will win the coin toss prior to today's game and will be elected to receive punchers will be kicking off from the north end zone. Oh, boy. 
Jr. Here, gain of five on the play. Tackle made by the catcher. Third and two for the Buffs. Gain of three on the play. Tackle 
Buck and Hatcher. Second and seven for Grable.
your gain of six yards on the play. Third and four for the punchers.
Castro on the ball carrier. Gain of five yards on the play, tackle made by Meister. Second to five, Grable. Carrier 
King up one on the play. Third and nine for the punchers.
into the end zone for a touchback. It'll be first and ten, Big Piney at the 20 yard line.
Sambrano's punt is down at the 48-yard line where Grebo will have it first and 10.
Vinny's kick is good for the extra point. The score is 35, big point is zero.
Taylor lost the ball to the gain of four yards on the play. Second and six for the punchers.
you on a 42 yard touchdown run.
Vaughn carries the ball for a loss of three yards, fourth and six from Punchers. McKeon returns the punt for five yards, where he's down at the 43 yard line. First and ten gray ball from there. Play tackle 
Followed by Justin Seaman. Second and seventh, Grable. Go,
for a gain of four, second and six for the punchers, and we have timeout, big punch. Marty's pass is incomplete, third and seven for the punchers.
again the second half of play with Ray Gold kicking off to the punchers. Because of the score, the clock can keep running for the remainder of the game. It will stop for timeouts, injuries, and penalties. Otherwise, it will keep running for the remainder of the clock. Willoughby returns the ball to the 28 yard line where it will be first and 10 big money. <laughs> Thank you. 
penalty markers are down. Five yard encroachment penalty against Grable. Second and 14. on the play. Fourth and inches for Grable. Thank <laughs> you. 
his extra point attempt is good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Virginia has taken their final timeout.